collective what's up what's good my collective gang gang what's up what's good welcome and welcome back to the channel guys if you are new to my channel and you've never been here before my name is queen of wands 1111 thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and tuning in and for my new subscribers thank you guys so much and for my returning subscribers welcome back to the channel you guys so let's get into some messages and see what spirit has for you let's see what you can expect for november 2023 and let's see what you can expect from your person take this read how it may resonate with you and leave the rest don't force it to fit if it's not your story, okay? So, you guys, this will be for the collective for all signs here. All signs, okay? Keep in mind that this read may or may not resonate with every single last one of you, all right? So, somebody got pulled over or somebody's getting pulled over, all right? But I feel like you have some sort of trust issues here when it comes to your person or... Just people you've dealt with in general. You may need some time to heal, okay? You could be damaged and healing from a past relationship. But someone is coming to bring you a love offer. Whoever it is that you don't trust, I feel like this is a sincere offer of love. This person could be extending a gift to you or expressing love to you. Yeah, because there are massive regrets here. They regret what they did or what they said. This person may have even driven your car and got pulled over and gotten several tickets or a traffic ticket that they, did, that they didn't pay for, for some of you. This person is in love with you and they're regretting what they have done. They're begging for forgiveness here. That's what I feel. They're wanting to fight for this connection here. Okay, collective. They feel like you're worth fighting for. And they really want to apologize to you and make a confession. So they want to tell you what they went through. They also want to tell you what they did. Okay, they want to be upfront and honest with you. I feel like they want to mend the relationship here and rebuild the trust. They want to rebuild things back to the way that they used to be yeah this person is having a heart space awakening so i feel like this person is realizing how much they are in love with you but there could be some baby mama or baby daddy baby daddy drama around them there's some kids here family issues child support custody battles here so that could be you or this person but i feel like somebody's gonna pop the question to you all right let's get some more messages for the collective collective all signs a car just fell out on the floor let's see what that is so they're wanting to pop the question to you because they feel as though you're their perfect match they feel like you are the one for them okay that's how they feel all right but a lot of you i'm not gonna lie this person wants to keep it private they don't want anyone to know that you guys are together. They don't want anyone to know what is going on here. It may cause issues because of this baby mama, baby daddy drama. Okay? So they're wanting to keep this private. But they want to start this new cycle with you, this brand new beginning with you. They want to end any old cycles that you two have went through. And they want something new here. They want a fresh and new start with you. They see you as their wish come true. All that they have ever wanted in a guy or a woman you're their dream okay and they want you to have sympathy for them i feel like they're throwing a pity party they feel remorseful okay they're going through a lot of sorrow yeah they feel like they're in trouble or they got themselves in trouble because of something that they did so it says please forgive me i am sorry so like i said this person is begging for forgiveness and they could be telling you all their problems when this does come up for you if this has not happened yet, this will be coming in for you, okay? So they're going to tell you all their problems so you can have pity on them, okay? But I feel like you guys predicted it. So everything that this person was going to do to you, you said it. You predicted it and it's playing out the exact way that you said it would. And now this person is yearning for you, okay? They didn't believe that you was able to predict some shit like this, but you did. And they're missing you. They're thinking about you a lot. They're thinking about the good times. They're thinking about how they never had someone like you before. And they're listening to their intuition when it comes to you. The universe is guiding your person. So your person is following their intuition. And I feel like you are listening to your intuition as well. Y'all, this person is depressed. 
they're to, they're depressed because you closed out this cycle, okay? You've ended the cycle with them, so they feel like you want nothing to do with them anymore. They feel like it's over for a lot of you. They feel like it's over, okay? Because you left them out in the cold, feeling rejected, isolated. They're lonely, and I do feel like this person has a scarcity mindset, but very soon... It says, getting engaged, I want to marry you, you are my world. So this person wants to be with you. They want more than just um, boyfriend and girlfriend relationship with you. They want to be married to you, okay? Or you may be hearing the news of a wedding, or you could be attending a wedding in the future. So take that how it may resonate with you. Let's get some more messages here for my collectives. Collective. Tell me about this person's energy in the past, spirit. Tell me about this person's energy from the past. So they got you pregnant or someone else pregnant, okay? I feel like somebody's experiencing morning sickness here, okay? But in the past, there was a third party. Then this person was creating a wedge between the two of you where y'all were not liking each other or talking to each other that much because something or someone was interfering, trying to stop someone from moving forward. And I feel like this person could be pregnant. So right now, at this moment, you could be hiding the pain behind your shades, it's like you don't want no one to see how hurt you are or how much depression or how much um, grief or whatever you're going through. You don't want anyone to see that, okay? Hmm. Yeah, some of you may even feel powerless or this is this person feeling powerless, feeling stuck and in their head. They don't know what to do. I feel a lot of anxiety coming through here from this person's energy, okay? Yeah, I feel like you guys seen some bullshit in your phone or in their phone or computer or tablet in the past. You may have seen some messages here that upset you. Mm. And you feel like, yeah, you need to just leave because it's not working out. Hmm. But I feel like they've been depressed. They've been thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about you. And they've been sleeping on the couch. So they may be sleeping on your couch or someone else's couch. But they're just laying there thinking about you, trying to rest, but it's like they really want you to forgive them. Yeah. Y'all are in separation right now. So y'all either at a distance from each other or you had to distance yourself from this person. There's a disconnect between the two of you. Yeah, because of all these broken promises. They misled you. The trust was broken. They're unreliable. You couldn't rely on them for anything and you feel like you need to let this go or let something go it says it's over no more drama no more stress time to live again your person is praying for better days they're praying that things get better between the two of you here but they don't like that you're unbothered you could be posting pictures on social media smiling laughing just enjoying life you're like boy bye you could be losing interest in this person for real and not wanting to be bothered with them and you don't care. And they're about to lose their shit over this situation. Because you're unbothered. Okay, I feel like they're venting about you. Or you're venting about this person. Just talking about them. Trying to get your feelings out. Trying to vent. Okay. And they have some addictions. It says, when I'm stressed out about you, I smoke or drink. So when this person is stressed out over you, they smoke or they drink. Okay. Yeah, healing just fell on the floor. Give me a second, you guys. Give me one second. Actually, two cards fell on the floor. So they want to heal this connection with you. That's why they're so stressed out. Drinking and smoking. They want to move forward with you. But I feel like you're reevaluating your wants and needs. And you're showing yourself self-love and self-care. They love you. But you feel like you love you more. Okay? That's what I feel. They love you so much that they're still stalking you. They were stalking you in the past and they're stalking you now. Keeping tabs on you. They don't want you to get too far away from them. They feel like um, they deserve to have you and no one else does. Give me this person's energy now. They want to be generous to you and give you money. It says, here, baby, go do something nice for yourself. So they want to show you that they're a better person or they want to make you happy. Okay, by being generous to you. And they will reach out to you with a phone call. They want to talk. They feel like communication is key here. 
They want to express their feelings after trying to block you out, trying to block out these feelings that they have for you. It's like they're having a hard time trying to block out the feelings that they have for you. Okay? That's what they've been doing. They've been trying to block you out. So, yep, they're jealous. Jealousy energy because they don't want you to move on to anyone else. They feel like you don't need to be with anybody else but them. They have an attachment to you. They have a soul tie to you. And they really fear, they really, really fear losing you. So what this person is going to do is come back and reconcile with you. They want to get back together and work things out. They will return because there is unfinished business between the two of you, this person feels. They feel you are our twin flames. This person is feeling guilty, embarrassed, and ashamed, and in the wrong for whatever they did to you. And they're wanting to make it up to you with some passion and pop the question to you, ask you to marry them. They're trying to figure this all out right now. He says, I know I was wrong and I will fix it and make it right with you. They need help, y'all. But they're not telling you how much help they need. You could be moving or relocating or this person is wanting to move near you. Or this could be a job. Okay? But somebody's moving to a different city, state, country, town, or a new area in your area. Okay? It may be a new area in your area that you have not been to before. You may see some nice houses or nice apartments over there you want to move. Okay? For some of you. This person loves you. They want to be with you. And they're not giving up. They want you. Whoever this divine masculine is, or you are a divine masculine watching, this person will send you some love messages here through text. Some of you, they're going to call you. Some of you, they're going to text you. All right. Hmm. I feel like this third party is obsessed with your person. There is definitely a third party interference here. And until your person reaches out to you, I feel like you're showing yourself self-love, self-care, pampering yourself. You're doing what you got to do for you. You're loving on you. Treating yourself good, taking yourself out on a date. See, I told y'all, some of y'all will get a text message from this person and others of you will get a phone call. This could be the father figure to your children, a water sign, a cancer Pisces, or a Scorpio here. Let's see what other messages is coming out. Spirit, give me this person's current energy. Give me this person's current energy right now. Give me this person's current energy for my collective right now. They're frustrated. Wow, right now. Because they know you're tired of their shit. You're stressed out as well with this person. You're overloaded. Your brain is going to overload. You've been thinking about a lot. You've been burnt out by this person. Okay? Because you see them as a fraud. Very trickery. Very sneaky here. You feel like they have motives or they're manipulator. Yeah. But they see you as their forever love. They want to be with you. But this situation is requiring some sort of trust. They know you're the one. They're angry. They're angry because they feel like they don't need... They're angry because they feel like you don't need to be with anybody else but them. They're triggered. So they will chase you. They will keep chasing you. They're going to keep trying. They're not going to leave you alone. Because whoever this third party interference is, they're not really into this person. This person does not even compare to you. Not one damn bit. And it's a shame. You know, it's a shame. But they... They're not into her. But this person is in love with your person. But your person is looking for you. They're not even looking at this person. They're not interested in them. They're not even attracted to them. They see you as their soulmate. Okay? But they don't like how you're setting healthy boundaries. They don't like this. They don't. Uh-uh. If you haven't heard from this person, for some of you, they may have gotten busted. They may have went to jail for some of you. A small portion of you. But they miss you. They're missing everything about you. You stunting on them. You shitting on them, okay? Some of y'all may have a new boo. If you don't have a new boo, there's just a major glow up happening for you. Okay? You may have options. Yeah, divine feminine. So your divine counterpart is here. Okay? All right. Let's put these cards away and get some tarot for you guys. Let's see what messages come out there. Let's see what you can expect to happen between you and this person. And we're going to check out what messages Spirit has for you as well. 
Okay, collectives. If you watch this reading until the end, put I am blessed in the comment section. Put I am blessed in the comment section. All right. So let's get some tarot. Let's see what's going on between you and your person. I feel like you tried to get through to this person on many, many occasions, many, many times, but it was like hard for you to get through to them. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing a hard head make a soft ass. That's what I just heard. So your person didn't like to listen in the past. They were very hard headed, selfish, stubborn, arrogant, full of pride and ego, very egotistical, very ego driven. All right. But they realize they have to kill that ego. They have to have an ego death. Five of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Two of Cups, Eight of Swords, Four of Swords, Six of Swords, The Magician, Page of Cu Page of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Hangman. Hmm. Okay. So starting with the Five of Pentacles, Taurus Energy. Pisces, Cancer, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Scorpio. I feel like you broke up with this person or you ghosted them. Or you left this person out in the cold. And they feel abandoned and neglected. They feel lonely. They're facing bad luck in their life. They could be facing poverty or temporary financial hardship. There's some negative changes in this person's circumstances, and they're feeling left out without you, okay? They feel like the world is against them. And I'm also seeing this person feels like you're their wish come true. They're realizing that you are their wish, that you are their gift, okay? They're realizing things through their dreams here. But I'm seeing you pretty happy in this single energy. You're satisfied, Okay, you have high self-esteem. I'm seeing fulfillment and happiness within your energy. There is a possible reunion for you and this person. There's still love there between the two of you with the two of cups. So I do see a possible reunion happening for you guys. But you may be all up in your head about this or your person is just feeling trapped and restricted. They could be in a situation that they don't want to be in. Like I said, for some of you, this person could be in jail. For a small portion of you. But it's like. They could be overthinking. Or this is you overthinking this reunion. You could be replaying things over and over again in your mind. Okay. You may have felt like this person was trying to silence you. But they feel powerless. I feel like there was a lot of drama. Between the two of you. And you're healing with the four swords. There's a lot of fear and anxiety in someone's energy. Stress, feeling overwhelmed, needing solitude. You need to rest and relax and regroup and recuperate your energy and your thoughts here. Somebody could even be in a hospital for others of you. But somebody is doing some introspection and planning for the future with you. And they're wanting to move away to a place of peace and calmer waters with you. They want to overcome... Um, the hardship that you guys been through. They want stability here. But I feel like you could be walking away from this person. Yeah, so you're moving away to calmer waters. For some of you, you're booking flights across the country. You're going overseas. You could be traveling for the holidays to see your family. Okay? But I feel like they're trying to manifest you back into their life with the magician, Gemini energy. So they will reach out to you. With a small offer here. This is not going to be what you want. It's a small offer. This even could be small talk for some of you. Okay. For others of you, it may be what you want. But I feel like you may not accept this small offer. Okay. And you may walk away anyway. Leaving this person hanging. Okay. Or they're reaching out to you because they walked away. Feeling like the grass was greener on the other side. And they're realizing they're disappointed. Because they withdraw from you. So they're looking deeper within themselves. Trying to figure out what's going on. And they're stuck on you. But they feel trapped. Needing to release something. 
needing to sacrifice something and gain a different perspective about this. Even though you've walked away from them, they're still stuck on you. They're still waiting. Or you could have walked away from them, but still waiting in some sort of way for this person to change or change their perspective or sacrifice something in order to have a better relationship with you. Some of you are walking away and letting go of this situation, letting go of this person, but they're stuck on you. They're stuck on what has happened between the two of you. Let's get some more tarot. Yeah. You're standing your ground. They don't like this. You're standing up for your beliefs. You're fighting for what you believe in. You could be pretty defensive and on the defense when this person comes back around. Some of you may be happy to hear from this person. But you're taking control of this situation. You're maintaining control. You're putting your foot down. Okay. You could be pushing this person away or shunning this person off. Or you could be accusing them of something. But I do see you guys getting back together with the lovers here. Yeah, I do see that happening. They want to commit to you with the King of Pentacles. Some of y'all have been waiting for this person to commit to you and come back around. Because you still love them. You still have feelings for them. But you had to turn your back to focus on you. I feel like some of you may have even had to go to therapy or counseling. But right now, you just feel like you want this person to leave you alone because they play so many head games, mind games with you. They're very promiscuous and flirtatious. And they've been uh, holding back from you, not opening up, being indecisive. And that's why you ended things with them. But I feel like this person wants a new beginning. Okay? I feel a, a transition or a spiritual transformation happening within their energy. So I do see them changing. They may have been closed off and blocked off to the idea of change, but this is something that's necessary. And they fear change, but I feel like they're going to do it. They may have even been at a crossroads about this situation. You've ended this situation or this relationship because of a heartbreak, because of a third party situation, betrayal. Yeah, you may have been feeling lonely since the separation. Someone's depressed and unhappy and sad, okay? Okay. But they want to step up and be your emperor. This person is controlling, but I feel like they want to step up. All right. But you could be going back and forth about this. Like, I don't know if I should or shouldn't. You may even find yourself going back and forth with this person. Or this person was juggling you and another person. But it's like they're having an awakening about this situation. They're realizing that you are the one. And they want forgiveness. They're obsessed with you. And I feel like you've ended this relationship with them because they were toxic in a full-blown relationship with someone else. They may even have had mental health issues or an addiction to sex, alcohol, or drugs here, binge watching or gambling. So the strength came out in a reverse, it fell. This person could be very vulnerable right now, doubting themselves. You feel like you don't have the strength to deal with this person. This person is showing low self-esteem, lack of confidence, feeling inadequate, feeling um, inadequate, sorry. You don't trust them. You may not even believe them because they're going to come back towards you being sweet, being nice, being very generous, kind, kind of emotional, wanting to work things out with you. But you're not settling for anything less than what you feel like you truly deserve here. Okay, they're watching you. They don't want you to get too far away from them. They're spying on you. Yeah, this person from your past is coming back. Somebody from your childhood, a childhood friend, a childhood sweetheart, a high school sweetheart, or just somebody you have history with. You may even have children with this person. But I'm seeing them wanting to give you a gift or some flowers. They want a reunion with you. They're thinking about the memories, the past. Okay, and they want to come back. They want forgiveness. They want a second chance with you. And some of you may be giving this person a second chance. If they can step up and show you that they have changed, you will give them another chance, I feel. All right. So that is the end of y'all reading, you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, if this is your story, if it does resonate, like the reading, 
subscribe. Hit that big red subscribe button. Turn your post notification on to ALL so you won't miss any readings that I upload for you guys. I love you guys a million. Until next time, bye collective. I'll see y'all in the next reading.